He was the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland and a very good one uh, as well and took time to get to know all of us in Northern Ireland uh, as, as people as opposed to politicians. He was a really, really nice guy. Mm. And uh, my thoughts and prayers go to Cathy, his lovely wife, and his three children today and all of his family and friends. It's such a devastating blow. He tweeted not so very long ago mm. that the cancer had returned mm. uh, and I contacted him and he was his usual gracious self saying, oh, thank you so much for reaching out to me, Arlene, uh, at this time. He was a really, really gracious man. Yeah, just talk to me a little bit more about him as a man. We know a bit about him as a politician, yeah. but just as a bloke, you know? He was really nice and took a real interest. He spent some time at the Home Office before he came over to Northern Ireland as Theresa May's Secretary of State and then unfortunately had to leave the office because he took on well. That was mm. the first time that he took on well and he went into mm. uh, treatment and then Karen Bradley came in as the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland uh, in place of him. And it was a tough time because we didn't have government at that time yeah. mm. um, and he was trying to get the parties together. And, um, yeah, I'm really shocked, actually, that it has happened so quickly because I knew he wasn't well. I think we all did, mm. uh, but it has happened so, so quickly. Yes, I mean, uh, Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, has, has put out a statement saying James Brockenshire was a man of public service and the highest integrity. He was mm. a valued friend and colleague and he will be deeply missed. My thoughts are with his family on this incredibly sad day. I think universally across the Cabinet, people mm. liked James uh, and certainly he was very well liked in Northern Ireland when he came as well. And it's a tough gig coming mm. to Northern Ireland. Uh, as Secretary of State for Northern Ireland uh, and I'm sure there are many who have very pleasant memories of his time spent in Northern Ireland. Absolutely, just some more of his family's statement. Uh, more importantly, they say, he was a loving father to his three children, a devoted husband to Cathy, as you mentioned there, and a faithful friend to so many. We would like to thank all the NHS staff, particularly those at Guy's and St Thomas's Hospital in London, who cared for James with such warmth, diligence and professionalism over the past three and a half years. We would also ask, of course, that our privacy is respected yeah. at this time. Clearly a very difficult time uh, for his family. And, and I think it's fair to say one, one of the good guys has passed away. He was certainly one of the good guys. And uh, I know he'll be greatly missed amongst his colleagues in the Conservative Party. But he'll be very fondly remembered in Northern Ireland as well. Mm. Absolutely. And, and is, there, is, there any, is there one highlight that you can point, pinpoint from his time in Northern Ireland there that stands out for you? It's well, it's actually one. a private um, oh, okay. uh, point. But I will, I will tell it to you. When he came to Northern Ireland... Ireland, I invited him down to County Fermanagh so that he could see the lakes and we went out on the yeah. boat with his family mm. and as I always say if you want to see Fermanagh you have to do it from the lakes uh, and he came out on the boat and it wasn't the greatest of days but he was so generous and so gracious with his time uh, mm. to get to know the place where he had been sent to mm. uh, and I will always remember that uh, very very fondly. Eileen, thank you. That's a magnificent tribute and, and um, obviously very very sad circumstances this for uh, James Brokeshire who sadly passed away.